G'day friends, welcome to the channel. Today we are talking sky replacement. Now, while it's not something I typically do in the photos that I share or print or sell, it is something that I have used when it comes to commercial photography because the amount of times a client has been like, hey, love everything except maybe just, can you just go back and shoot that again at a different time? No. Absolutely not, unless you're gonna pay me. Um, <laughs> but I have then said, hey, look, I'm happy to Photoshop a different sky in uh, for a small fee in terms of like post-processing. And most of the time they're like, yeah, absolutely happy about that. Um, so that is where I typically use sky replacement. I've used it a lot when it came to real estate photography, product photography as well. And the client doesn't really care about the like purity of the photo. They just want the best image. I also appreciate that some people go to a location and they just don't get the conditions that they want. Today, today, outside it is negative 37 degrees. And it got me thinking about the poor people that have come to Banff and they're not actually gonna see the mountains or they're not gonna see a sunset. And I thought about all of the epic sunsets, the northern lights, the astro photos that I'd taken that are just sitting on a hard drive. And I went and compiled 50 high resolution images that you are welcome to download for free and use in any of your photos. Now I dropped a link below for you to download those files. Now we're gonna dive into Adobe Photoshop and we're gonna run through how easy they've made it to replace skies in Adobe Photoshop. And I'll also show you how to import all of the skies that you've downloaded from the link below. So first of all, gonna open an image and then first thing you're gonna do is go up to edit all the way down to sky replacement and it is going to select the sky and then re replace it with one that looks really good straight out of the gun um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go down to add the little icon and then in your downloads folder or wherever you might have it i've got 50 free sky package i'm going to open that and then we are just going to go select everything open and that is going to bring up all of the sky packages that you just downloaded. Spend this a little bit. So from there, you can literally just go and click through and pick which skies you think will look best. Do we want the Aurora? So typically when you're replacing a sky, it's best, it's best to shoot the foreground at the same time as you would have the sky replacement. So say if you were shooting a sunrise or a sunset, I'd shoot it at that time and then go and replace with an actual sunset or sunrise. And that would just, it just makes the processing easier. So let's just scroll through, click on a bunch of skies. That one kind of works. This one definitely would work. No, not as much as I thought. A little bit. So literally, I feel like that first sky suits the best. So let's gonna leave that, hit this little icon. So after you've picked the sky, now it's time to just adjust things a little bit to make it seem a little bit more real. Now, I'm gonna start with the top and show you just the variations of what these will do. So the shift edge, shifts the edge on the sky as opposed to having it fairly neutral to having it kind of take over the actual landscape that we were looking at. Now with this one, and cause it's got such a clear, distinct line, we just leave it around zero. Fade edge is the same. It will fade the edge either way. These ones just kind of tweak and just figure out which one kind of looks the best. Brightness will adjust the brightness of the image coming in. I'm gonna darken that a little bit and change the temperature so it's a little bit warmer just to suit the warmth of the base here. You can also change the scale of these images, really zoom it in. Say if you wanted to pick just this part of the sky and move it around. Typically, try and keep the sky and the foreground at the same 
focal length. Both of these are shot around 16 mil, so leaving those the same makes it look more realistic. You can also just kind of like move the sky around to, to suit what you think looks best. Right, that, that looks best to me. Once you hit OK, it's going to export all the different layers down here and all the adjustments that you made in that little window that we had popped up. Now, most of the time, it'll do a really good job and chances are you won't notice, but sometimes you may have to go and brush in the edges and kind of tweak things a little bit, but that is a whole other YouTube tutorial. Today, I just wanted to give back to the community that's given so much to me and give you a pack of skies that you can edit and play with and kind of take photography to the next level for you. Well guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy that free sky pack and hopefully you learned something because that's really all I'm here to do. Don't forget to subscribe and drop us a comment if you have any questions or if you just wanted to say hi, you know? All right, I'll see you guys next week. Peace.